Hello, my name is Jukka and welcome to my latest video. Since we will be getting the two pack of Snake Armor He-Man and King His, oops, uh, Battle Armor King His from Medi Collector, I thought I'd talk about the man who defeated King His. Yes, it's Zodak. With a K. The Mystic Zodak. Here are seven things you didn't know about Zodak. Possibly? Zodak is the last character we see in the final episode of the 2002 He-Man series. Kingdom thanks you, He-Man. You should thank Zodak. Not counting the moral segment, but those weren't even included in the American TV version, so we're not counting them. Older fans may remember that the original Zodak toy had a blaster gun. The 2002 figure also came with a blaster, but that looked nothing like the vintage. It was actually reused from Samurai He-Man variant. And heck, in the cartoon Zodak never uses a blaster. When Zodak debuted in Season 1 episode The Snake Pit, it was the highest rated episode of He-Man for Cartoon Network which in turn prompted the network to ask Mattel for more Snake Man related material. Before Zodak made his animated appearance, he was seen on the cover of Masters of the Universe comic, Volume 2, Issue 1, that was released on March 26, 2003, actually beating the cartoon by just three days. No! Cover art was based on a toy prototype photo, Speaking of prototype and toys, you know the Four Horsemen, the awesome toy designers and sculptors behind the 2002 line and Masters of the Universe classics. Yeah, those guys. Well, anyway, before Zodak's look was finalized, the Four Horsemen made a more realistic head sculpt of Zodak, which was then asked to be made more angular in order to fit the style of the rest of the figures. And even before that, the Four Horsemen had originally envisioned Zodak as an alien, as seen in this concept artwork. Later, that concept art was used as reference in Volume 3 of the comic for a shadowed image of the Cosmic Enforcers in Issue 3. That alien version of Zodak actually went past his concept art. The Horsemen had already started sculpting and fabricating it, when Mattel had their own idea, where they wanted to turn one of the Masters of the Universe characters of African descent. Rumor has it they first wanted to add this change to Stratos, but that was scrapped. And instead Mattel decided they wanted to make Zodak to be of African descent, and provided their take on the character with a blue armor to the Four Horsemen. Now, since Four Horsemen had gotten pretty far with their design elements for the alien version, they suggested to Mattel that they'd take this proposed idea and combine it or retrofit it with the most striking elements from the vintage Zodak, so the character would be more recognizable to longtime fans, and Mattel agreed. So, that was 7 things you didn't know about Zodak. And since you stuck around to this point, here's a bonus for you. Did you know that the alien concept of Zodak was not the only one? See, after Zodak was changed to the final form we know today, the Four Horsemen looked at their initial concept idea and created another concept from that, a Space Ranger, if you will, where the idea was that it would be one of many cosmic enforcers who would come in a variety of different shapes, sizes and colors. The colors seen here are only one of many wild possibilities. So that was 7 things about Zodak that you may or may not have known. Hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos about characters, these small trivia videos, let me know in the comments section. My name is Yuko and I wish you good journey.